Most EU states are suffering from a third wave of coronavirus. Rather than opening up, countries are considering new lockdowns. That's why the issue of vaccine supply is so urgent. Rollout has been slow, and officials have targeted AstraZeneca for its failure to meet predicted supply. Up for leaders' discussion at a virtual summit were controversial new regulations, allowing the EU to block exports, particularly to the UK. Commission President Ursula von der Leyen maintained the threat. I think it is clear for the company that, first of all, the company has to catch up, has to honour uh, the contract it has with the European member states before it can engage again in exporting, um, in exporting uh, vaccines. But the German Chancellor emphasised compromise. Concerning Great Britain, we want a win-win situation. We want to act sensibly politically, because it's sometimes a little more complicated than it appears at first sight. On the issue of Turkey, there was evidence of a desire to engage in more positive cooperation. The EU will consider upgrading their existing customs union. Later, the summit welcomed President Joe Biden from Washington. It was a symbolic move, signalling a desire to repair the damage caused by four years of Donald Trump and his America First policy. EU leaders are under real pressure from their electorates. People are desperate to return to normality, but another summer could be lost. And whatever threats EU leaders make, the damage of a poorly managed procurement programme has already been done. Simon McGregor Wood, TRT World.